Hey guys, it's Kathleen over at Book Brush, and we know that your author brand helps you stand out in a crowd, your font, your colors, and so we have made it a lot easier to create those graphics very quickly with our brand kit. Let's take a look. The brand kit is located here on the main homepage. On the left hand side, third item down, you'll click on brand kit. And if you haven't used this at all yet, you'll see three spots that are all empty. You've got your logo spot, color, and fonts. And if you scroll down, there are spots for three fonts. So what's really exciting here is once you get your brand kit set, and we talk a lot about why branding is important. It's definitely a way for people to recognize you and your graphics with the colors and font and all of that that you normally use. We want to make it easier for you to use those things. So let's choose colors and fonts here on each color. You can click in here for different colors, or you can add your color code if you know that. So I have three colors, and then we'll choose fonts. I'll choose a primary font. And it shows up right here how your font looks so you can verify that that's what the font that you do want. And I'll add in a secondary font as well. So I have Domine and this Libre Franklin for secondary font. And then you also can upload your logo right here in the logo section. I'll put in the book brush one. And we're set. Now let's go see it in action. We'll go into tools on the left into custom creator. We'll just click on a Facebook ad size and click on text on the left, add a new text box, and it adds automatically as my default text. So I don't have to change that anymore. You can still go in, obviously, and update, but it's super handy. Now we'll make it super big so you can see what's happening here. The other thing that's neat is when you're in the color section here, it defaults to white. But you can click these th little circles here that say brand kit color and your colors are right here and you can automatically change that. And you may have also seen our new gradient options, but let me throw that in. Click gradient down here and you can change to one of your other brand kit colors and you are set. Neat thing about gradient is you can now change the direction. So the color can go to the top left, bottom left, and even new since last week to the center or the reverse. So pretty cool options there for brand kit. You'll also find that if you're going into background, click edit background, you'll see the little brand kit and it's right there for you. Now let's talk about the logo. When you go into elements on the left hand side, right up here at the top, will be your brand logo handy. Just add it right to your graphic. Where else will you find brand kit? Check in elements on the left-hand side. If you are doing a shape, a blob, those awesome rating stars, you will find the brand kit. So for example, those rating stars, you double click, you'll see right here the primary color, default black, brand kit, choose from your brand kit, and there you go. Again, gradient options here as well. Super cool way to personalize any of these elements quickly. Trope arrows, who doesn't love my adorably flirty trope arrows? Those can easily be color coded with your brand kit too. One other quick thing on text. If you are in the text, you can click add more fonts. We have access to a thousand fonts. These are Google fonts free for commercial use. You can add these to your list simply by checking and it will be on your list. Also, over here on the right, you can upload your custom font. Bring that in, drag and drop or click to upload. And then let's click back out here. We'll go to brand kit. When you're searching for the font, the ones you just added, will be right here, as well as the ones if you've uploaded them. So that will be a shortcut for you to add your own fonts to BookBrush. Give it a try and create some awesome personalized graphics.